The brazen bull, also called the Bull of Phalaris, the Bronze Bull, and the Sicilian Bull, was a device used in ancient Greece to torture and kill people. The story of the brazen bull has something to do with Phalaris, the ruler of Acragas, now called Agrigento on the southern coast of Sicily, and Perillos, an Attic bronze worker, sometimes spelled Perillaios. The brazen bull was a very cruel tool, and the story of how it was made is a well-known example of an invention that killed the person who made it. Meet the Maker The story of the brazen bull seems to have been well-known in the ancient world, as it has been told by writers like Lucian of Samosata, Pindar, and countless others besides them. Diodorus Siculus's Library of History has one account of the story. This ancient historian says that the brazen bull was made by a man named Perillos, who was a famous Attic bronze worker. Diodorus says that Perillos gave the brazen bull as a gift to Phalaris. Phalaris was known for being cruel, and the bronze worker may have hoped that the harsh tyrant would reward him for his creativity. Torture in the torso. The brazen bull was a bull-shaped piece of metal, as its name suggests. This metal animal was hollow on the inside and had a door on the side of its body so that a person could be put inside. After putting the subject in the brazen bull, a fire would be lit under its stomach. This would heat up the device, making it into an oven where the victim would be roasted. The most horrifying thing about this gadget, though, is that it can also be used to make music for the entertainment of the people watching. As the hot metal burned the person's skin, the person would scream in pain. These screams were sent to small-sounding pipes in the nostrils of the bull, which made the device make a bellowing sound. Diodorus says that Perillos told the tyrant, His cries of pain will give you pleasure as they come through the pipes in your nostrils. A bully gets burned. Diodorus shows Phalaris in a way that isn't quite as cruel. In fact, the tyrant is shown as a fair leader who punishes a bad person. Diodorus says, when Phalaris found out about this plan, he hated the man so much that he decided to give Perillos a taste of his own medicine. So he asked the man who made the bull to show him how it was supposed to work. Perillos crept into the brazen bull because he thought he had to show the ruler how the pipes would sound. Once Phalaris was inside the machine, he shut the door and lit a fire under it. Perillos did not die in his device, though, because he was pulled out of it when he was almost dead and thrown off a cliff. This was done so that his death would not taint the bronze work. Fate of the Brazen Bull Diodorus also tells his people what will happen to the brazen bull in the long run. The instrument was taken to Carthage at some point in time. When that city fell to the Romans under Scipio Aemilianus in 147 BC, envoys from Sicily were shown the spoils of war and told to take back to Sicily whatever had been taken from their cities to Carthage in the past. The brazen bull was one of these. No one knows what became of the brazen bull in the end. Some people say that some Christian saints died in the brazen bull. However, the Catholic Church has said that these stories are not true. We hope you liked this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're a history addict, and please let us know about civilization or time period we should talk about. Also watch another video here.